take a look. Tell me this thing doesn't look cute. What's up agents, Zero here and welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition add-on showcase and today we're taking a look at something rather interesting. This is the Pug add-on. Now, admittedly this add-on has been out for a few days now so I'm a little bit late to the party. <laughs> but this is actually relatively interesting. These Pugs, they replace wool. So let me go and spawn this thing in. Take a look. Tell me this thing doesn't look cute. Wait, now that I mention this, this is going to make it so that um, people down in the comments are going to disagree with what I said. But yeah, basically this is the pug. And according to MCPDL, these guys have double the health and double the attack damage of that of a regular wolf. It doesn't say anything about changing their spawn place because I'm pretty sure that wolves naturally spawn in like spruce forest and it doesn't say anything about that changing. So I'm not entirely sure on that and I've got some other stuff set up in this chest. So first off we have ourselves cake. So where did the guy go? Here he is. Um, so apparently you can tame these guys with cake. And it gives them uh, or a nice thick color, which I do believe, I haven't tested this yet. I'm fairly certain if I were to get out like a type of dye, you know what, let's do a cyan uh, dye, why not? Um... Yeah, you're right here. Let's go ahead and test. Is this gonna... Yeah, just like what I expected. But, yeah, that's basically the pug for... I, now, as far as the cake is concerned, personally, I do not understand this. I know some of you might like the idea. I'm pretty sure the developer of this add-on has their reasons, but I personally don't understand why cake is what's used to tame these guys, that's just me. I know some of you guys might have difference of opinions. That's perfectly fine with me, but yeah, that's just me. So let's go ahead and take this guy with us. Um, could be odd. Now, as I mentioned, these guys have double the health and double the attack damage of that of the wolves that they um, replace. So I know for a fact you can use add-ons um, in multiplayer settings. I'm not entirely sure how to set that up. I just know it is possible. But if you have this add-on in a multiplayer setting, I highly recommend that you have PvP disabled because say you accidentally hit your friend just like a normal wolf it'll automatically think that it's something that you actually want to attack it'll just go straight after them uh until it's dead and because these guys have double the attack damage well you might want to watch out for these guys if they're mad at you so just to kind of demonstrate this i have a few mobs in my inventory. I've got myself a creeper, a husk, and take a look. This is enemy of pug. Yeah, um, I can somewhat understand why they renamed this. Um, I'm pretty sure that the pug, I haven't tested this yet, but I'm pretty sure the pug will try to attack this guy instantly. And... Some of you might recognize what the spawn egg is. Some of you might not. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and show you guys how fast these pugs will actually take down these mobs. And I'm pretty sure... Um, aren't you supposed to be attacking? Um, hold on, maybe if I get out... 
a sword that's on this page. Um, let's try this. Is he going to go ahead and attack? No. Well, I'm not exactly sure what's going on. It's supposed to attack these mobs. I've got a husk here. Um, okay, there he goes. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure why he wasn't uh, attacking the creeper, but he did, in fact, go ahead and attack the husk, and now he's actually, um... I think he's hungry right now because I think husks give hunger and this is actually a good time to go ahead and show you guys um when you guys heal these um uh, pugs you can use either cake again or can you can use meat and I don't know why I'm having trouble finding meat because I'm in creative inventory it should be fairly obvious so let's go ahead come here come here um, let's go ahead and heal you up. Um, and I'm fairly certain, just like normal wolves, the more you feed them, yeah, he, uh, they will give off the heart particles. And at the same time, I think how much damage they take determines how high their tail is. So, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and spawn in this enemy of Pug. And I'm not quite sure... Where I want to spawn this, because this is admittedly a um, mob that will actually burn in daylight. I'm not entirely sure if this pug will actually straight away go after it. I haven't tested this yet. Is she trying to go after it? Yeah, I think he's trying to go after it. But he's just not able to get there because I have him on the leash. Um, hold on, I got an idea. Maybe if I take him, yeah, let's take him off the leash and try it this way. Nope, doesn't seem to be interested. Okay, that's interesting. Unless the skeleton was too far away from him, which is a good possibility. Let's try... Oh, there he goes. So apparently they somewhat chase the skeletons. Alright. Well, that happened. Okay, so that's, uh, that's as far as I'm aware about the pugs. Um, let me go ahead and look at this web page because I have this up. Oh yeah, um... I need to give a really quick shout I should have done this at the beginning of the video. Um, I need to give a quick shout to a person on Twitter called Real Alex Fiery. They're the ones that uh, developed this add-on, so I'll make sure to have your Twitter links down in the description. I'm sorry I should have had that mentioned um, earlier, but as far as I'm looking at this web page, um, it doesn't look like there's any other information I can find. Um, uh, actually, one thing I am noticing, yeah, you can go ahead and have them sit and stand just like a regular uh, wolf slash dog, whatever you technically want to call. I know some people have the different names. Some people call them wolf. Some people call them dogs. Um, uh, I don't know if these guys are attracted to bones. Doesn't seem to be. Okay, that's kind of interesting to know because I know... Um, wolves normally are, in fact, interested in bones. And if this guy, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, he's over here. So, they're not interested in bones, but they do like the cake. They do like the meat. Um, now that he's tamed, will he still actually want cake? Um, I'm also wondering about, um, rotten flesh. Yep. He definitely sees the cake. He definitely wants some of that. Um, let me go ahead and test the rotten flesh. I gotta remember where it is. Here it is. Will you like rotten flesh? Okay, he does like rotten flesh, so that's normal, okay? Because uh, wolves normally do like rotten flesh. That's actually good to know. So if you have a whole bunch of rotten flesh in your inventory, you can still use it. Apparently you can use Unless I'm wrong about uh, wolves in vanilla, 
liking bones. I could be completely wrong on that. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, that's basically all there is to this end. So this is where I'm going to go ahead and end off the video. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Well, more than make sure to hit that subscribe button for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at agentcpu 0 to stay updated. This has been Zero Series. Thank you guys for watching. And with that, I will see you guys later.